Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to talk about low hands downswing. This is a huge key to improving your ball striking and is a must watch. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So let's talk about this low hands downswing and why this is so important in the downswing, which can help you hit solid golf shots. So typically with most golfers, where they go wrong, especially with their irons, the hands get very high at that point of impact. Now, there's a reason they do this. And if you're someone that that does this, you're not doing it intentionally, but you're doing it because you have to do it to make contact with the golf ball. So if I'm set up here, now if I make a golf swing and I come down to my impact zone around this area here, if I stand up, get out of my posture and get taller, which is very, very common amongst most golfers, in an effort to get more power, a lot of golfers, they push up, they get taller. Now the only way you can hit that golf ball is by raising the handle, extending your arms. If your setup position was here, if you early extend on the downswing and get higher, if you keep your handle low, you'll miss the golf ball completely. So raising that handle is a sub subconscious move that your brain tells you you have to do to make contact with the golf ball or else you'll miss it altogether. So what you need to be thinking about doing is getting low hands in that downswing to help you strike more solid golf shots. And the key to fixing that is one, staying in posture and then getting that feeling of getting the hands lower through the impact zone. Now, the result of getting high hands, quite often you'll toe a lot of shots or hit them fat and your divots will look something like this. where they'll have a, a narrow opening and then a little bit wider section. Whereas getting your hands lower through the ball with your irons, you'll get more of a divot like this. That is very much rectangular shaped and very consistent. That's what you're looking for. So to really help you improve this, what I'd like to see you do as you get over your ball with your shots, as you come down, is to stay in posture, just pushing that pelvis area back. Feel like those hands are getting low, right around that knee area there through the strike zone. Now, they will go higher. As soon as you make contact with the ball, even prior to that, once your hands get to about here, that's the lowest point of the downswing. And from there, your lead shoulder, hands will get there, the lead shoulder will start working up and back and the hands will get high again. So ideally you'd want it looking something like this. Hands low and then up like that. that ha that's how I'd like to see you make the swing. Low hands, hands going low and left, club head going down the target line. So something like that. As opposed to this high handle down the target line like that. High handle, as you set up to address with your irons, it'll be some, some sort of angle like this. As soon as you raise that handle, you can see what that does to the club head. Brings into a, any of this toe area there comes into play, and that's how you get those inconsistent toe shots there. So, super important. I've got a drill for you that you can practice at home at the driving range to build this into your game will help you strike your all of your golf shots, not just your irons, but your driver, much more solid. It's coming right up. Okay, here's this really simple exercise or drill you can practice at home to get these low hands in the downswing built into your game. So you can see here I've got a, an alignment rod through a range bucket. Now, you don't need to have a range bucket to do this. You can just use an alignment rod or something that gives you a visual reference point in your swing. The idea of this is that I'm aiming to swing my hands and my club underneath this, keep them low, 
and swing through and this will help me also stay in posture. Now really important as I mentioned earlier, staying in posture is the key to keeping your hands low so really important you tuck that pelvis and keep everything low as you're swinging through. So how I'm going to set this up, depending on what handicap you're on, if you're a higher handicapper you won't want to have this too low at first because you'll probably find it a little bit challenging. I've got it at present pretty much just above where my hands are here at the moment and the idea is this acts as a visual tool so what I'm trying to do is swing underneath it and keep them low. Now at the moment I've got it about four or five inches behind the alignment stick and all I want you to do is do really slow swings and just comfortably get under that stick. So here we go. When you do that, it helps you stay in posture. When your hands are low, it helps you make better contact with the golf ball. You won't strike those toey ones that result in higher handle shots. Much easier to compress the ball and get forward shaft lean as well. So this is a great drill to practice. Take it to the range. You can hit balls doing this, but make sure you adjust this height according to your level. If you're worried about hitting it, put some sort of protection on the end of it. It's a great tool to get low hands in the downswing and improve your ball striking. Now, super important, coming right up now, I've got a video that goes through how to tuck your pelvis in the golf swing. Now, this ties in really well with this video because when you tuck your pelvis, like this, when you tuck your pelvis, keeping this back, and keep your hands low, that combination will result in solid iron shots or solid golf shots all round and turn you into a great ball striker. It's coming right up, stay tuned. Do you want to know how to become an even better ball striker? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about how to tuck your pelvis in the golf swing, especially the downswing, which ties in really well with this video and help make you an even better ball striker. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.